Welcome Jesus. to Standing for Jesus Ministries. Stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna stand up and praise His name. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. Oh, I'm so glad He died for me. And now, thanks to Him, I've been set free. Stand up for Jesus, I'm gonna stand up for Jesus, I'm gonna stand up and praise his name, I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. And now let us hear the word of God. Standing for Jesus Ministries is brought to you in part by the following. McDowell Professional Pharmacy. Call 377-1088. Lenny Hall Income Tax and Accounting. Call 377-2633. And by Nelson Fraser Funeral Homes. With offices in Martin and Hyman. Call 285-5155. thought he was a preacher. He was making fun of people that didn't believe in the resurrection. And therefore, he was making fun of me. So I wrote this little song. I don't know if I was anointed or aggravated, uh, but I did want that preacher to hear it, Larry. And I believe one of these mornings we're going to get up and walk around. I believe it's number five, Mikey. I'm not sure. Crucifixion evening when God's son was going down, the dead got up and walked around. It was only three days later after God's son had gone down, he got up and walked around. Hallelujah, what a promise that our faith in God has found. Though we die, we are buried. Get up and walk around. Anybody believe that tonight? Well, we've done this more times than that. We have said goodbye to loved ones and placed them in the ground. They'll get up and walk around. For we have a blessed promise If our name is written down We'll get up and walk around Hallelujah, what a promise That our faith in God has found Church, though we die and we are buried We'll get up and walk around Say the rapture might take place tomorrow. I don't know about that. But I know one thing. They lay this old body down. It's going to come up. A glorified body. Thank God for that. Feel the presence of the Lord here tonight now. Now they can take us to the graveyard. Lay our body down. We'll get up when the trumpet sounds. With a body like our Savior glorified, heaven bound on streets of gold, gonna shout around, hallelujah, what a promise that our faith in God has found. Though we die and we are buried, we'll get up and walk around, yeah, we'll get up when the trumpet sounds. I believe that with all my heart tonight. If your name's written down, you'll get up in a glorified body. We'd like to welcome you back to Standing for Jesus Ministries. We're thrilled to death to be able to 
bring the word to you today. It seems like, you know, we ain't been on for a while, but we're finally straightened out. And God is still blessing us to preach the word. And we're hoping to be a blessing to you some way, somehow, something we can say that might uplift you, something we might say that convince if you're lost and undone that you need Jesus as your Savior. As we get into the message today, we'd like to also remind you of our prayer line. Listen, we still believe in the power of prayer. God's answering prayers every day. He's answered on our life many miracles, many things that he's answered. And listen, there's a number on the screen, so just call in and send in your prayer request, and I guarantee they will be prayed over. Each and every program we pray over, believe in God for those needs according to his riches and glory. Amen. And as we begin to think about our first message here in July about how that everybody in the world preaches something. Everybody in the world has every organization, if you will, has got a doctrine or some kind of belief that they want to prove. And I begin to read in the scripture in Ecclesiastes that God, that the writer said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Okay? So the whole matter is we was created to worship God. Amen? But God gave us a choice one time, Brother Mike. And we reach a certain age, it seems like. People talk about the age of cannibality. And, but I know that when God started knocking at my heart, that there was something. I had to make a decision. And listen, I made to believe it's still that way today. You have to make a decision, Brother Mike, when God starts a knocking. I, I listen to whether to accept him as Lord and Savior or whether to not. I, Listen, and I want people to know, well, I just don't choose you. I can't choose yet. You're still making that decision. The Bible says that the preacher sought a listen for acceptable words to preach, but he found that which was written was already perfect and upright. I can't tell you nothing any different. I listen than Jesus preached himself. Amen. To repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's what John went a preaching. I listen, that's what the disciples went a preaching. I listen, and that's all I can tell you, my friends, to be ready. I listen for one. One day, a listen, the Bible says there's going to be a trumpet sound, Brother Mikey. A listen, and the dead are going to come forth. A them that have died, that's waited on the promise of the Lord, they're going to come forth first. A them that are alive and remain. A listen, it don't matter whether I go by the grave, or it don't matter whether I'm here when the rapture happens. After the dead are risen, I'm going to go up. A listen, if I'm right with the Lord, Amen. A listen, well, I want you to know. Oh, it's time to get excited about the world. Well, listen, it's scary. I think it's going on in this world. Some people say, well, listen, it's awful scary. I'm scared. I think that's going on. I want you to know, listen, Jesus is coming back. Listen, that's all it's telling me. Listen, I want you to know that the world is going to get worse. Nobody, listen, government ain't going to take care of your problems. I'm going to tell you right now. Listen, you're not going to find anything in a pill bottle or a bear bottle or anything like that. Listen, Nobody else is going to take care of your problems. But I want to tell you about a man. Listen, Brother Mikey, that went. Listen, he allowed himself to be nailed on an old rugged cross between the heavens and the earth that you and I could go free. Listen, that day it would take care. Listen, my friend, when you get Jesus down in your heart, you talk about the problem solver. Listen, he's there, ain't he, Brother Mikey? Listen, he's there. Listen, he's there for through every trial and tribulation that you had. Uh, listen, uh, a lot of people say, uh, listen, well, it's too hard to live a Christian life. Uh, uh, listen, uh, it's as hard as you want it to be. Uh, and it can be as easy as you want it to be. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, the ideal is uh, uh, God has mercy on them. Uh, uh, 
revelation that not only uh, repent for their ways, he said, but they repent and forsake their ways. Uh, listen, you can't keep looking back. Uh, there's a lot of people that will look back uh, at what they've come. Uh, listen, I want you to know the Bible says that if we look back, uh, you ain't a hold of the plow and keep looking back. Uh, we're not fit for the kingdom of heaven. Uh, but I want you to know God has mercy on them uh, that is fighting the fight. Uh, listen, uh, you got to walk the walk. you got to talk the talk. Uh, people watching us today, uh, and they're saying, uh, listen, looking for every little excuse. Uh, uh, listen, a Christian today, uh, uh, listen, can make one little mistake. Uh, oh, you better believe the devil's right on top of it. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I'm trying to say you wouldn't have done that if you'd been a child of God. Uh, uh, listen, but I want you to know, my friend, uh, uh, listen, uh, the devil is a liar. Uh, the devil is a roaring lion. Uh, uh, he's out seeking whom he may devour. Uh, and I want you to know, uh, uh, listen, if you're one of God's and you're seeking God the way you should, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, the devil can't touch you. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, because you uh, are property of an almighty God. Uh, uh, listen, we are sons and daughters. Uh, uh, listen, join heirs with Jesus Christ. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, listen, Brother Mikey, uh, I don't know about you, but I get excited. Uh, uh, listen, uh, every time I hear, uh, uh, listen, the things going on. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, sometimes I'll get my little Bible out, uh, and I'll go, uh, and I'll say, uh, I'm trying to figure out, uh, uh, here, Lord, uh, uh, where's that at in Scripture? Uh, uh, listen, uh, I want you to know Scripture being fulfilled every day. Uh, listen, in our newspapers and our news. Uh, uh, listen, uh, have you ever realized uh, uh, that you can't turn the news on and hear hardly one good thing on it? It's all bad stuff. <coughs> listen, and it's all about, uh, oh, you listen. Uh, preacher, how do you know? Uh, uh, listen, uh, that the end is coming. Uh, Jesus said there would be famine in the land. Uh, uh, not a famine. Uh, uh, listen, uh, of bread and water, but of hearing of the word of God. Uh, these people preaching everything in the world today. Uh, uh, listen, trying to convince you. Uh, uh, listen, that Islam is all right. Uh, uh, listen, trying to convince you. Uh, uh, listen, about Mohammedism and all this uh, other isms. Uh, I don't know about them, uh, but I know that Jesus, uh, it's the real thing, my friend. Uh, like you said, preacher, how do you know? Uh, because he puts something down deep inside you. Uh, uh, listen, that you can't uh, uh, resist. Uh, he puts Put something down inside you uh, that gives you strength to stand. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, you think about uh, uh, the disciples. Uh, uh, listen, these were men that walked with Jesus. Uh, uh, they talked with him. Uh, uh, they ate with him. Uh, uh, they spent all their time with him during his ministry. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, but the time come, uh, uh, listen, that he must uh, uh, be crucified. Uh, and he began to tell them uh, uh, what Scripture says, uh, uh, that the shepherd will be uh, smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered. Uh, uh, listen, it had to be fulfilled. Uh, uh, listen, but I want you to know, uh, uh, listen, there was a time when they got back together. Uh, uh, listen, they were them, uh, them same ones. Uh, uh, listen, that denied him at that time, uh, uh, died for him. Uh, uh, they gave their life. They were persecuted for him. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, who, uh, uh, you and I, uh, uh, listen, when someone says something about us, uh, uh, listen, uh, and we're not in the wrong, uh, you know what we ought to do? We ought to lift hands and say, thank you, Lord. Uh, uh, listen, uh, 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 worthy uh, uh, to suffer persecution for you. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, we was talking one time, there's a little bit of a difference. Uh, and I want people to understand this. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, those that are persecuted for righteousness sake, uh, you're blessed. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, but if somebody's talking about you uh, and saying something when you're guilty, move up. Amen? See, uh, we are guilty. We're in this flesh. We, we make mistakes. Uh, listen, but I'm telling you what, we got a loving God. We got a God, listen, that when we can't walk no more, he'll pick you up and carry you. Amen. Uh, listen, we were serving a God. Uh, Brother Mikey, it seems like when you don't know what to pray, uh, the Bible says that the Spirit will give us utterance. Uh, listen, the things to pray uh, for the Spirit pray us. Uh, listen, uh, have you ever been? I've been there. Uh, listen, Lord, I'm so, uh, I don't know what to ask for. I don't know what to pray. Lord, bless my children. Lord, bless my home. Lord, all 
these things. I know that God is going to take care of us. But sometimes we're going to have to quit begging and just put it in God's hand and trust him to see it through. Amen. I'm not saying give up on your prayers. I'm saying you don't have to beg God, but you've got to believe according to the word of God. He said, he that believes, he that asks is not wavering, not like the wave of the sea of waving. Listen, but ask in faith believe it shall be done unto him. Listen, that's why I'm saying it's not hard to become a Christian. Listen, because all you got to do is believe in your heart. Now that's what the word says. Believe it in your heart and confess it with your mouth. Listen, because some salvation, confession is made unto salvation. Confess what? Let he is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Listen, that there is no greater that he is the only key to salvation. Jesus said, no man comes to the Father except through and by me. Listen, and I want you to know, listen, these churches today still preaching the gospel, thank God. Listen, but they are some. Listen out there. Listen, that'll compromise some things. And I want you to know God won't compromise one thing he's got written right here. Listen, for the word stand ashore having this seal. God knows them that are his. Listen, and he calls you by name. Listen, does he know your name tonight? If he knows your name, listen, then your name, listen, is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Listen, now he knows you. Don't get me wrong. But what I'm talking about is being known of God. Listen, having a personal relationship with God. You knowing him. Listen, like you've never known before. Amen, people today. Listen, they try to push things off. Listen, don't believe this way or don't believe that way. Listen, we better be taking it Jesus' way. Amen. Because if we're not careful, if we don't take it Jesus' way, we're going to get ourselves in the way. Amen. I mean literally. Listen, the Bible says that they are them that stand at the door and walk in. Listen, they won't even go in themselves. Listen, but I want you to know, uh, you look, take around and look uh, at what God is doing today. Uh, oh, how God is preparing the church. Uh, listen, for a time, uh, listen, such as never we come before. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, there's going to be a time when God is going to say, uh, it's enough. Uh, my children have suffered. Uh, uh, listen, they've been persecuted. Uh, uh, they've been talked about. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, there's been enough preaching. Uh, uh, there's been enough saying. There's been enough testimonies carried through the world. He's going to say, go and get my children and bring them home. It's time for them to come home, son. Go get them. Listen. And I believe, my friend, at that time, Brother Mikey, could be just around the corner. We don't know. Listen, but one thing I know for sure, time is growing short. Listen, you and I have no promise that we'll even draw the next breath. Listen, for the breath of life comes from God. Listen, in the garden when he created Adam and Eve. Listen, Adam was just an old lump of clay formed into a man. Listen, from the dust of the earth, but God breathed into him. Listen to his nostrils, the scripture says, and he became a living soul. Listen, you are a special creation of God. God created you to serve him. Listen, we need to hear the conclusion of the whole matter, not just part of it. Listen, we can't just take part here and part there. We need to hear the whole thing. God created you to serve him, but yet he gave you a choice, and you choose this day whom you're going to serve. Amen. Listen, I don't know about you, but I'll tell you what. Listen, when the Spirit of God gets on you, sometimes you feel like you can do just about anything. Listen, but that Spirit is what ensures me. Listen, that I'm his, and he's mine. Amen. Nobody can take that from me. A man can take your life. Uh, but he can't take what God has instilled in you. Uh, or you have to give it up. Uh, listen, you'd have to say you don't want it no more. Uh, listen, uh, but God said, uh, listen, uh, that he is able to keep that which he's called. Uh, amen. Uh, but you've got to be willing to be kept. Uh, listen, you take an old mule. Uh, listen, uh, that's stubborn. and don't want to be led to water somewhere. And it stubborns up on you and starts bucking. Uh, you can't do much about it, can you? Uh, listen, that's the way it is. Well, God, he don't force it on us. Uh, but he says it's a free gift. You choose 
of whom you're going to serve. And Brother Mikey, I don't know about anyone else. Uh, listen, but I tell you what, uh, listen, uh, not just this program, uh, but everywhere that I have a chance to stand and proclaim the gospel, uh, listen, I love it. Uh, I live for it. Uh, listen, you want to know why? Uh, because I want to make heaven my home. Uh, I want to be obedient to God. Uh, and I want everybody uh, that I come in contact with. Uh, listen, uh, if I can some way or another, uh, listen, I'd like to be able uh, to witness to them and invite them to church. Uh, tell them about this man, Jesus. Uh, listen, uh, we don't always do that. We get kind of busy. Uh, listen, uh, and that's why it's so important, I believe, uh, listen, to darken the doorsteps. Uh, listen, when we comes to gathering together in a church house. Uh, Christian, listen to me. Uh, listen, uh, um, listen, watching TV uh, is a great thing, uh, and I hope you enjoy the program. Uh, listen, but it's not a substitute for going to church, amen? Uh, listen, go to church, too. Uh, go to church. Uh, listen, where you can be with God's children. Uh, listen, pray for one another. Uh, lifting each other up. Because uh, we're living in a time right now where the devil is fighting the church so hard. Uh, listen, uh, he's fighting them. Uh, he causes division. Uh, listen, but I want you to know. Uh, listen, uh, a lost person don't use that as an excuse. Uh, listen, uh, because we're going to stand before God and we're going to give an account for our sins. Uh, and not another. Uh, I will give an account, uh, even for this very message that I'm preaching right now. Uh, uh, listen, when I stand before God, I will give an account for the words uh, uh, that I'm telling you. Uh, uh, that's why I want to tell you uh, uh, that the word says these words are wholesome. Uh, uh, they're true. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, there's no other name given than Jesus uh, uh, whereby you must be saved. Uh, that's not maybe, might be, ought to be. You must be. Uh, if you enter into the kingdom of heaven, uh, uh, you must be born again. Uh, of the spirit and of the water. Amen. Listen, I begin to think. Listen, about a man one time. Listen. Listen, that believed God with all of his heart. Uh, listen, he believed him, Brother Mikey. Uh, listen, uh, he uh, didn't know it all. Uh, it made you think about this. Uh, listen, he went into a place. Uh, listen, uh, I want you to know he went into this place. And he went in with an attitude. Uh, Taking God's children. You think about this. He went in with an attitude of taking God's children and locking them up and throwing them into prison. But on that way that he was going, <laughs> the Bible says he was on that road. Listen, old Paul. Heard a voice. Brother Mikey, the same way we did. One time I heard a voice telling me that I needed to repent, that I would die and go to hell if I was caught in my sins. Paul heard this voice. He said, Why do you persecute me? Struck him blind. The Bible says that scales come over his eyes. And he began to speak, and he said, Who is it, Lord? I believe he began to realize real quick who it was. But he called Paul. And listen, I want you, I want you to know that when, listen, that when God scales come off his eyes, he's seen things different. There was a man sent to him, God said to go, for I have much work for him to do. He's a chosen vessel of mine. Listen, child of God, you are chosen of God. Uh, listen, you repent and uh, you say God don't want you back out in that world. Uh, God don't want you diddle dabbling around with little things. Uh, the Bible says it's the little foxes that spoil the vines. Uh, he don't want you diddle dabbling around with things, uh, uh, thinking that it's all right. Uh, uh, listen, the world will try to tell you it's all right to drink a little bit. Uh, it's all right to get high every once in a while. Uh, uh, listen, as long as you ain't hurting nobody. Uh, uh, listen, what I want you to know, uh, well, the devil was a liar from the beginning, uh, and he's a liar now. Uh, and listen, and I'm going to tell you, all you have to do is just call out upon him. Uh, listen, lost person, uh, this is to you, my friend. Uh, listen, uh, how would you stand right now? Uh, listen, if Jesus was to open uh, the cloud with the spit open. Uh, listen, if Jesus step out of a cloud right now. Uh, listen, uh, would you be running to a church house somewhere trying to pray uh, one last time? Uh, or would you be ready to go? Uh, listen, that's the question I want to leave with you. 
the last ten years or so. I want you to know God is still God. He's still in the saving business. He's still in the healing business. And he's still God. And he's still he's still sitting there on the right hand of the Father. Right now, lost person. He's sitting there with the Father, waiting for you to make that move. And then if you would step out and say, I'm tired of living my life the way it is. Jesus will save you. Oh, like this song says, Jesus will save you. All you got to do is call upon him while he may be found. I don't wait until a lot of things come upon us. I listen, one place in the scripture it says God would laugh at our calamities when they come against us. I listen, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? I tell you what, an escape route is here. That's Jesus. Listen. It's not the church. It's not the church building somewhere. It is the head of the church. And that is Jesus, our Lord and Savior. The one who gave his life for you and I. He is the one. Now listen, that's coming back one day after a while. And listen, he's coming back after them that are watching and waiting for him. Listen, wherever you might be, just go ahead and kneel down where you might be. Now listen, and cry out to Jesus and say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Now listen, and I guarantee when you pray that from your heart, God will be there with you. Now listen, and you'll never be the same. And you'll be a new creature. The Bible says old things will pass away. You'll see things differently. Amen. God puts a love down in you and makes you even love your enemy. You know that? People you couldn't stand to be around, you want to see them saved. Just believe Jesus saves. Yes, he does. He still saves. Listen, when he shed that blood on Calvary, there's one key thing he said on that cross. That covered everybody. Hell of the year. But he looked up into heaven. And he said, Father, forgive me. But they don't know what they do. A lot of people do things in this world because they don't know what they're doing. But Jesus can take you from that. Amen. A lot of people don't realize how drugs and all these things in the world is hurting them. God can take it away from me. Amen. Listen, I I feel good. I, I thank God, and I'm, I'm looking for more great programs, more great singing on these programs. But I tell you what, God is God, and besides Him, there is none other. That's what this is about. It's about Jesus hoping to see people saved, to see their church lifted up, to see people maybe that can't get out and go. To church, maybe the people that bed fast or something, to receive a blessing. And that's what we pray for this program each and every time. So listen, send in your prayer request, and we will pray over them. God bless you. We thank you for tuning in. Listen, pray for this program that we can touch hearts and souls. For Jesus Ministries is brought to you in part by the following. McDowell Professional Pharmacy. Call 377-1088. Lenny Hall Income Tax and Accounting. Call 377-2633. And by Nelson Frazier Funeral Homes. With offices in Martin and Hyman. Call 285-5155.